Hi guys, welcome back to Nairobi Legal Insights. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the duties of directors according to section 140 to 147 of the Company Act 2015. As a director of a public or a private company, there are certain legal duties that you must conform with by virtue of the responsibility that comes with this position. And in the course of this video, we are going to be discussing the duties of directors according to section 140 to 147 of the Company Act of Kenya 2015. Now, companies have their own internal rules and regulations, but also we have the Company Act of Kenya that really regulates how companies should uh, operate. When you look at section 140 to 147, it outlines the duties of directors and some of the key duties include the director being able to act in the best interest of the company and its employees and also being a person who fosters business relationships with the company's suppliers and customers as well as other stakeholders. And most recently, we are talking about climate change, the carbon footprint. Directors also have a duty to actually uh, ensure that the impact of the company's um, operation are actually in line with sustainability. The other key duty, as far as the Companies Act of Kenya is concerned, is that these directors, again, should exercise their powers to ensure the success of a company for the benefit of not only its uh, shareholders, but also other external stakeholders because a company ends up affecting many people in the environment within which it operates. The other key important duty is that as a director of a company, you must exercise independent judgment, meaning that as you work among other directors, your opinion must be your own opinion, and when making a decision on certain um, discussions, you must stand your own ground by exercising independent judgment so that you're not this sort of a director who is swayed by the majority. The other key important duty you have as a director is to avoid what we call conflict of interest, especially when it comes to exploitation of business opportunities. As a director of a company, you have access to a lot of confidential information. You have access to uh, the procurement information of a company, whether it's the financial uh, reports and documentation. And so you are in this position of power and authority. Now, be, by virtue of that position, you should not misuse that information by sharing it with an external stakeholder who could be a supplier so that they have an advantage when it comes to procurement because that amounts to exploitation of business opportunities, which is a conflict of, in, of interest in itself. The other key duty you have as a director is that you should not accept benefits from third parties. Because remember, you're working in the best interest of a company. And once you start to accept benefits from third parties, then they will come later on seeking for favors. And when you start serving the favors of external stakeholders, you already lost your primary duty, which is ensuring success of a company by now moving to serving interests of external stakeholders. The other important thing that you must consider when you read through section 140 to 147 is that as a director, you must actually declare to other directors any interest you have in any proposed transaction or arrangement with the company. For example, if uh, there is a supplier working with a company where you're where you a director, you should disclose and declare that interest in that particular transaction. Maybe uh, your wife is supplying certain goods to the company. You should be able to step up and inform other directors that we have a supplier, but in this specific transaction, uh, this is my partner, and I wanted to declare that so that there is no conflict of interest, and where if she's still the most credible and reliable person to supply those goods, then the other directors can vote on that decision. So ensure that you declare 
to other directors any interest in any proposed uh, transaction or arrangement uh, we, with, the, with the company so that you avoid any issue to do with conflict of interest. And it, that is just one of the examples that I shared when it comes to uh, supplier contracts. In our next video, we are going to be discussing how to remove a director looking at what the Company Act of Kenya 2015 provides so that if a director is involved in corruption or any fraudulent transaction or conflict of interest, you know how they can be removed and what areas of the law actually provide for that. That will be the purpose of our next video. Thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, video. In case you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment on this video. You can also reach out to us via our Nairobi Legal Insights uh, page, uh, via Twitter or LinkedIn for active engagement. And again, see you next time. Thank you.